But yeah, back to my video. Homeboy said, do I want to, do I got a cigarette? I don't smoke no cigarettes. But yeah, um, back to the, the video, right? <laughs> the seventh house being, um, Aquarius, right? Aquarius being that, um, fixed air being, a uh, fixed is either consistent or stubborn upon their own way of communicating right with this aquarian nature right so that's describing someone that would be unpredictable kind of right someone that would be in a relationship you never really know what's going to happen next right you got to be expecting the unexpected right and that's how leo's relationship generally go right leo rising i mean to say so the way it relates to your ninth house, you have to bring this new knowledge of uh, just how relationships work in general. You have to um, say that, okay, well, like, I know y'all don't expect this is how it is. But this is how it really is. You see what I'm saying? This is this real knowledge and wisdom that I can initiate and create and bring into this world. You see what I'm saying? This is the really kind of relationship that I'm going to be about, right? Dang, these bugs are not playing out here, right? Maybe I should get back inside real talk. But, um... Then you look at this 11th house being in this being with this Leo rising. You're going to count two houses, right? So you got Aries in the 9th house. Then you're going to have Taurus in the 10th. Then you kind of have Gemini in the 11th, right? Man, I think this bug for real in my nose, for real. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. But yeah. <laughs> um, Gemini being mutable air being able to adapt to other people's way of communicating. So it's like in your social environment and your uh, and your group construct, you're going to be able to adapt to what the group is talking about, right? No matter what group you're in. It could be a group of 100 people. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be able to move out throughout that group and see who you who you fucking with and who you really not. You see what I'm saying? It, it, there is some click shit going on. You see what I'm saying? In the world. And it could be... Um, you could be fixed. Like, you could be... Um, well, you could be stubborn in your own way to say this is my click, or you could be unpre or you could be unpredictable, or you could be I mean to say consistent, right? Because think about it, that first and that seventh house is how you relate to others, right? So you got your first house being your individuality, how you are, and your seventh house, like to say, that if you're Leo, you got the seventh house being Aquarius, you could really adapt to your way of being unpredictable, right? But the point was with the the fixed nature of being consistent or stubborn, right? <clears throat> So, your way of relating to others in that 11th house, right, could be completely unpredictable, or you could just stick to the script, you see what I'm saying, and actually really want to play the role correctly, you see what I'm saying, and we kind of tap into these natures, we jump between the 1st and the 7th house whenever we're relating with others, so yeah, uh, that's just a little example of that 11th house in action, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, um, I could do some squares, but it's already a two-part video. So yeah, holla back at me. <laughs>